Ahoy hoy there everyone, I'm Mongoose and I'll be showing you 5 easy designs that you can do around your Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Whoa, did you see that? I sure did. Good thing I had this cozy tourist spot here or else I would have missed out on that in the distance. Come to think of it, it is also a great place to rest and take in the wonderful sights. Here's what you'll need to fit the theme for the tourist spot. Now to begin, you'll want to pave the area to the size of your liking, and then place the iron fencing around the area. I have mine set up next to the river and cliffs. Place your tourist telescope between any of your iron fences, and now you should have the framework sorted. Now fill it in with the rest of the furniture. It is purely up to you how you want to locate everything, but if you are looking for something a little bit more streamlined, then you can follow this layout. I bet you're the one to attract culture and bring your community together with the farmer's market. Do not let this area fool you, it is much easier than it looks. Here's what you'll need to cover the theme for the farmer's market. This idea works best if you have a large open area instead of mine, which is kind of cramped. So let's get that helmet back on and start laying out your paths to the size of your liking. Once that's done, Think about the theme you want to give your stalls. I have a tea, toy, and fruit stall. You can have a flower stall or even a tool stall. The possibilities are, as they say, endless. You have pretty much got most of the life in this market flourishing. So let's work on the little bits for extra detail. I've extended my stalls by adding a complementary theme such as a fortune telling table where you can see your future while drinking tea. And I've even added a cotton candy stall next to the fruit stall for extra snacking. Now we're talking. Looking good, right? Now for the cherry on top. Let's add a iron garden bench in the area. Maybe a few natural garden chairs too. And even a chessboard for the sharpest minds on the island to enjoy. Checkmate. Your museum grows every day adding in new fossils, fish, bugs, and art. But what about the outside? Wouldn't it be nice to showcase what you have on display with this fancy panel and plaza to bring your friends together and hang out? Well then let's get started and make history. You'll need these items for this project. Some of these can be obtainable when you link your Animal Crossing Pocket Camp app with the Nintendo Online app. To start, let us get our paths all sorted, and then place the fountain in the center. After that, place the marketplace decorations on each corner. It's looking pretty good, so let's keep going and add in the garden benches. Use any plant of your choice on either side of the benches. Now for the final part that pulls this all together. First, let's be honest. The real standout thing about this is the simple panel that I have here with the designs I've made, which you can get via this code. Then place them next to the museum and you're done. Believe me. Historians will be writing great things about your island in the future. Hmm, perhaps you're looking for a subtle, simple theme to cover your island? Perhaps you can't see it because it's too dark. Maybe we should place some street lights. But wait, where is the power coming from? Well, how about we also install utility poles across your island to power every building, making your nighttime sessions a little bit more magical. For this, all you'll need is utility poles, which you can get from the Nook Stop for a thousand Nook miles each. 
First, you should get the designs I've made here. Lay them out across town first, so that you know how many utility poles you will need before ordering them. Once you've got your orders in, start placing them down on the connector designs and that's it, literally. Now for extra detail, you can also add in some solar panels and wind turbines to fully complete the theme. Are the higher parts of your island looking a little bland? Not sure what to do because the area is rather small to work with? Well, with this idea, you will not have to worry about that anymore. Here is what you'll need for this idea. Some of these options are time sensitive unless you've got a fancy time travel machine, but the overall idea is the same and comes down to personal preference. Let's start off by digging out the land to make a waterfall. Keep doing this until you're on the ground level. Smooth it out so it looks somewhat natural, and then make your way back up to the second level. Now for my favourite part. Let's place the paths down all the way across the cliffside like so, and then add in the bridge design which you can get here across it. Once that path has been laid out, decorate the sides with any arch of your choice. I've set mine up with these cool looking tree bounty arches that are a part of the maple leaf event in autumn but stone arches look just as good. Alternatively, you can use the shell arch if you've got the DIY recipe for it, or use the frozen arch which is obtainable in winter. Finally, let us place down some hedges to fill in the gaps and give some extra detail, and then you're all done. If these ideas were helpful to you, then subscribe to the channel, like, and leave a comment down below. I hope that with my help, you can build up that confidence to continue developing your island to becoming something great. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Mongoose, and I'll see you later.